guys i know i've said the next video is going to be crafting but hear me out i just wanted to like knock over the stuff that i have left so <laughs> today we're going to make a uh, stats frame that's right so what you need to do it's very easy also when you, when you got here uh so so we want to do, make part and you can basically make this part however big you want but i'm gonna like make it like maybe like 2 10 and then like 15 or something hopefully like this or like 8 and 14 yeah yeah like this like this i'm gonna make it like this you can make it however big you want um then you want to you want to make it anchored and you want to rename it to um stats so then you can uh, add a I think it's surface UI and then a frame inside. This frame should be like scaled one comma one and this one like one thousand five and this one like one thousand five too. Um background color you can you can of course do it however you want. Um this is like here. I think it should be like left side, uh, right side I mean. I think. Yeah. So you can design this however you want. I'm also gonna make the the uh, thing here black, and then I'm gonna make the frame invisible like this. Uh, you can basically, but you can like design it however you want. Um, so I'll just like I can show you what I am going to do. So just give me a second. So this is what I did. Basically, I just have a title in here, then I have luck and cooldown. That's basically everything. Um, yeah, you, I just left some space for like more things in the future. So yeah, um, but that's basically it. Then we can go over to the scripting. Um, so we need a client and a server for this because you can't change surface GUIs on the client. Well, you can, but you like, it just is like weird because, um, like the client does not like see changes in like attributes and stuff. So it's easier to just make a server. Um, so for this, we are going to create another remote event. So in replicate storage in remotes, um, we are going to create a remote event uh, called um, sent stats client just like this sends that client um so then we need the client and a server of course so um the client we're going to do this in uh, of course like the style player because it's just like not messing around with anything there then style player um or we have the admin we're going to add a local script and well now you have to decide which like values like which like yeah wh which stats you want to display so firstly we're gonna get the frame so local frame is equal to game well workspace no the call workspace so the workspace and then call wait for child uh, stats call wait for child surface ui call Wait for child frame. So then you can decide. You can always add uh, like stuff later, but yeah. So I'm gonna do luck. It's equal to frame call wait for child luck. And local um cooldown. It's equal to frame call wait for child cooldown. Cooldown, yeah. So then the local event. Of course, going to be game dot replicate storage call wait for child remotes um, call wait for child send stats client like this. Uh, so then we need to do event dot on client event connect function, and now we get like all the values. So log and cooldown. This all. So of course if you have more you have to pass them in this bracket too. I'm just going to take those two. 
So then you're just going to apply it. So lock dot text is equal to, and then you can like set the text and lock column and then lock, no, just the, the small lock. Yeah, and no, not the, the lowercase lock. Um, and then like X. So this will be like lock, um, colon, and then like the value and then X. So yeah. And the same for like cooldown, but I'm gonna make it like say second instead of an X. So S, um, CB, and cooldown. And of course, this has to be cooldown too. So that's everything. Then we can go over to the server. It's not really that much. So another server script. We could edit somewhere, but. I just make a new script because I think it's like it's cleaner because you like can change the stuff easier. Yeah. So basically, um, I just named it send client. You can name it however you want. Um, so then we need the event, of course. So I'm going to copy the event and paste it in here. Uh, then you need the attributes. I like the stats. Do like stats. It's equal to and then like um you can do like stats to send um it's equal to an array and in here you pass all the names so lock um and spin cooldown for me do we even have spin cooldown yeah we do so you can pass like everything here that you have like an attributes, yeah. Um, so then after this, we're going to make the player added event. So game dot players dot player added connect function, and then we get the player. So then for underscore um stat name in i pairs or pairs, it doesn't matter. Um, and then that's to send do player call get attribute changed signal um, stat name call connect function. So what this does is it's going to, so for every stat name that's in this table, it's going to wait for the so it's going to listen to the attribute change signal and if the attribute changes its value or like yeah um it's going to connect the function and in here um well we have to send the client but i'm just going to make a function for this so local function um on stat change um and we need the player and the stat name so then we're going to do the uh event Home fire client with the player and player um call get attributes and then like for the lock uh, and player call wait for child for the so we, we have lock and cool on here so we need to put lock and cool on here it's easy so then cool on here and that's basically it. Um, so then we do on stat change with the player and the stat name. So then um, what we need to do next is just like another sending. So for every player in I pairs game dot players dot I call get players do for underscore every stat name in i pairs stats to send do and we just do the same thing right here um and then for underscore every stat name 
print i pairs stats to send do they do the same thing here um you know it's those two are basically like unnecessary but i, I just put them there like yeah so okay i think that was this that that was it um when we join again now when we run over to here we see that it's not updating we got any errors uh, it's not it's not knowing spin cooldown why doesn't it have spin cooldown um we have spin cooldown here um so just give me a second oh, okay i figured out the error it's kind of like uh well <laughs> i put wait for child here instead of get attributes um so yeah of course if you want to put something like the um i like i can at least show you uh what's this now ah uh, that it doesn't matter okay so um if you want something in the player like maybe like the cache then you have to access it differently because it's not attribute as you can see all the cooldown is still not working um so oh of course um because i put player here you don't need to put player here so just make sure you have all the values here nothing else um yeah so now it should perfectly work um yes both are one so if you want to put like an actual value there so of course we have to add like another thing here so we'll duplicate this one move it down by uh, 2.1 and I'm gonna name this to like uh, cash uh, then in the local script I need to accept the cache here and also need to define the cache label like this and then we need to find cache here so cache dot text is equal to cache or like coins um are equal to and then like like this i don't know just uh, the lowercase so um then we are going to do this it's very easy so you don't need to put it in here um but you just like well yeah so basically you just put in here a uh, player called wait for shout um and then like cash dot value and that's I think that's it so now we should see a 10 million there yeah we see a 10 million there um of course you can also like send it over so like with the um so local format num is equal to let me see where i've got it it's in um game dot replicate storage call wait for child lives then call wait for child's format numbers of course we have to require this like this um and then what you can do is you can like cut this into like format num format compact and paste this in here then like a comma two or something 
then it, it should work. As you can see, this is now 10 million. And that's basically it, how you can like do stats in your game, like display it. Um, we can quickly test this out with like, no, it's on the client, so it, sh it shouldn't matter. Uh, so yeah, that was it for this video. Um, all like really crafting is, is going to come this week or in two weeks. So look out for this.